Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the titration lab, which was conducted by my partner Meili. All right, let's dive right into it and start off by looking at the purpose and the background of this lab. So first of all, you might be asking yourself, what is the main goal of this experience? Why would we be doing it? So the goal would be to determine the amount of free fatty acid in already used vegetable oil, depending on the mass that we have. So what this is going to do is you're going to be able to convert the solution into crude biodiesel. So in this experience, we're going to have two different samples with a known concentration of KOH and be able to determine and do the titra titration. So titration is a process that's used to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. So there's two parts in a titration process. The first one is the titrate. The titrant is a standard solution that we already know the concentration of. As for the analyte, is the, the concentration that we are looking for in this solution. Another great thing to understand is how free fatty acids are related to this lab and why it's so important. So as we know, free fatty acids are a substance that produce that is produced from either oils or fat. So why it's extremely important to do it in the titration lab is because it's going to be used in the second lab, which is the transterification lab. So in this lab, the catalyst is going to show us the amount of free fatty acids and how they react in order to form soap. This can be problematic though, because once the soap is created in the with the free fatty acids, it's very difficult to separate it from the glycerol. The mission we learned so far is extremely interesting and important, but wouldn't it be good to understand how this lab is done and how we should do it? That's what I'm going to be explaining right now. Here is the protocol of this lab. First of all, what we're going to be doing is we're going to set up the entire mechanism that we need and start by collecting five milliliters of used oil into a beaker. And then we're going to insert isopropanol and a red phenol indicator inside these beakers to later add in the burette filled with the titration solution. So what we're going to do with this is the whole content of the beaker is going to be placed onto a hot plate, which is not on. By the way, it's important that it's not on. And we're going to place a stirring peanut inside of it, and it's going to allow it to mix together in order to create the titration. Later on, you're going to be arriving to part two, which is recording the volumes. So you're going to let your solution mix on the hot plate for a few, a few minutes, as long as it takes, until the solution turns pink and reaches end point. So here are some images of the setup of the lab and adding of the red indicator inside the KOH solution. It's also possible to determine the amount of, to determine the percentage mass per volume of a free fatty acid, acid which is equal to 1.59 in this case, which you can find in the appendix a little bit later on in the PowerPoint. Also, the last thing we can do is once we get these results from the first and the second try, you're going to obtain the volume of the KOH solution that is used and be able to find an average for both trials. Once the first part of your results are done, it's time to get to the second part, which we're going to find the mass of KOH. So as I said, it's extremely important because this exact mass is going to be used for the second lab in order to conduct KOH in that solution. But before we finish, let's look at how this is connected to the rest of the lab. So as I mentioned many times before, the KOH is extremely, extremely important in order to know how much catalyst we're going to need in this lab. It also reduces the chances of finding and creating a saponification reaction, which is also the main source of error in these type of labs. You can now go look at Meili's second part on transterification, and I wish you a great day.